mystery, elegance, debauchery. Here in Venice, you can disguise yourself, take on a new identity, and commit all manner of sins. Well, during carnival anyway. But carnival here can feel pretty overwhelming, so I'm here to figure out how to navigate the madness. Once a year, the streets of Venice are flooded with people wearing magnificent costumes, going to extravagant parties and essentially letting loose before the period of Lent begins. But how do you, as a tourist, get involved? Where is all the action? What should you wear? What can you eat? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. And I also want to know what Carnival even is and how it all started. We're starting at the Piazza San Marco, the most popular square in Venice and the heart of the city. This is where all the action is happening. Look at all of these beautiful costumes. Everyone is wearing masks, so it's about time I got one for myself. Ready for carnival. And Why do you love carnival? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Venice, person. Venice is carnival. Crazy people. <laughs> Venice carnival is different from other carnivals because it's, Venice has this kind of uh, it's something nearly Halloween. You have a little bit of fear, but it's not only fear. It's, uh, it's also luxury. Yeah, it is a weird, kind of mysterious, yeah, weird, mysterious feeling. Exactly. It's very beautiful because you meet people from all over the world and uh, it's very easy to meet new people at yeah, Carnival. They say Venice Carnival began in 1162 as a celebration of Venice's victory over the town of Aquileia. But it likely dates back further. It was a time to indulge in life's pleasures before the solemn period of Lent. Carnival allowed the Venetians to have a specific period of time dedicated entirely to parties and pleasures. <laughs> it's so easy to get caught up in the atmosphere just by walking around here. The Venetians are right. You just have to come to the Piazza San Marco and get lost in the craziness here. <laughs> Sitting down for a rest, not that they can actually catch a break because everyone is still taking pictures. <laughs> okay, now I want to try some of the famous carnival food. The streets here are filled with the tempting smell of fritelle, sweet pastries eaten only during carnival. They pair perfectly with a bellini the Venice original cocktail made with Prosecco and peach juice. Mmm! Oh, it's so lemony. It's got pine nuts in it. Cheers. That was so good. I have to go and ask the chef how it's made. They're kind enough to let me into the kitchen to have a peek. I find out that typical Venetian fratella is made simply with eggs, flour, butter and milk, and then some raisins, pine nuts, a little vanilla, lemon and a pinch of salt for flavour. But why are they so popular during carnival time? I dolci tipici di carnevale sono eh, tutti quanti eh, fritti e questo perché con un, um, in un momento di con de, de, in un momento dell'anno con le temperature eh, più rigide possono essere più apprezzati, con il caldo lo sarebbero certamente di meno. What would a trip to Venice be without a wander along the canals and past the city's backwater streets? Let's go get lost. Even in February, it's beautiful here. If you need a breather from the bustling crowds, like I do, then wander away from the Piazza San Marco to quieter parts of the city. 
Then you have the space for yourself to enjoy the true beauty of Venice. It's amazing how all of these tiny little streets that don't really look like anything then open up into these amazing, beautiful canals. The gondolas are like what Venice is famous for, right? Snaking through the canals in these beautiful boats just seems like the height of luxury. But at around 80 euros for a 20-minute ride, they're not for everyone. So what would you say if I told you there was a way to experience the gondola ride for a fraction of the price? Not that many people know about this, but you can also take the local gondola ferry for just two euros. Somewhat inconvenient if I fell in the river right now. <laughs> You know, I never thought that it was possible to feel seasick after being on the water for 30 seconds. <laughs> Feels good to be on solid ground again. The streets are starting to get crazy busy now and almost everyone is dressed up. But the real essence of Carnival are the masks that everyone wears. Ooh, look at these people! <laughs> so who better to talk to about the infamous Venetian masks wow. than someone who designs them? Ciao, Alessio! Oh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah. Nice, nice to meet to you. you. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alessio Bonetti's atelier is filled with handmade historical costumes made right here in Venice. So why do people actually get all dressed up for carnival? I mean, what's the history there? And why does everyone wear all of these beautiful masks? Here in Venice, we, we live uh, everybody very near, rich and poor, you know, and uh, it was very hard to be near <laughs> and live together. So what happens? The nobility, they, they think about to, to, to make a period where uh, everybody can be all the same. The people uh, can be free of uh, all the kind of problem of life. This was, was very interesting and very intelligent because it was so, uh, in this way, easy to live together. It was all together with a mask. You cover your personality, man, woman, rich, poor, and they had a period where everybody was the same. Yeah, to do a lot of parties. You know, you can go to the party with 150 euros, but there is party for, for a ticket, for one enter. We go to 3,000. So if you want to spend not so much money, you can go some like disco parties where you can put just some accessories, the masks. Uh, that's a mask with feathers. You see, this is more traditional in paper machine. This mask in gold plated here with gold leaf decoration. Plated in gold uh, and of course feathers. It's kind of more mysterious mm -hmm. mask, so you can try on. This is the corno ducale, okay? The traditional hat of carnival, of the king of Venice. You can try it. Of wealth. Can you imagine me walking around the streets of Venice with this costume on? The sun is setting, it's getting darker, 
and there's a sense of anticipation in the air. See, that's what Carnival is all about. Going crazy, changing your identity, changing your gender, if you like. I'm here on the first official day of Carnival, which means the first parties of the season are taking place tonight. But like Alessio said, many of the private parties are pretty expensive. If you're not ready to drop that kind of cash, there are still loads of other ways to get involved in the fun. I'm headed to the student district of Santa Margarita to see what the vibe is like on the other side of town. People are a lot more casually dressed here. There's definitely still celebrating, but costumes aren't quite as highbrow. Are you celebrating carnival? I, I, I am the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> a slightly different vibe this side of town. <laughs> People aren't wearing like big and fancy costumes. Do you guys dress up? I used to when I was young, but now not as much, but sometimes we do. Yeah. Yours is cute as well. Thank you. <laughs> So do some students still get dressed up or is it more about just going to some parties and having fun? Well, usually when you go to parties, like in Arsenale, we will have like next Saturday, I think, mm -hmm. you will have to go dressed up. But like there is like friends of mine that has like, like dinner parties, like dressing up. So like we usually do it, so yeah. Why are you um, here in this part of the city then, at Santa Margarita? Yeah, Plaza Margarita is very, is very cool in the night because a lot of people drink and um, um, dance. Parties. Yeah, parties. Nice. <laughs> there you have it, Venice Carnival in all of its shapes and forms. It was amazing to see all of the extravagant costumes around the Piazza San Marco. But it seems like that kind of scene attracts maybe older Venetians and tourists, whereas younger students have their own way of celebrating. Either way, lots to see and lots of fun to be had.